Hello, I'm Nadia Sawala. Welcome to our anti-aging masterclass here at Loose Women with our head of makeup, the rather fabulous Donna Clitheroe. Whew. So, right, so we're using the airbrush. Do you use a foundation at home? Or Maybe you should be using a brush, Donna, to show people how what they can do it at home. Well, I did do that on roof and okay. the others, so you're going to be the airbrush today. Um, <laughs> Oh, it feels so nice. You know what the lovely thing about this is? It's so soothing. It's like cool mountain breeze. Let me go breathe in. As if by magic, I'm now beautiful. Yeah, I'm well, not dragging. I'm just smoothing. <laughs> no, the smoothing. one thing we do not do with the ladies is no. just drag it. <laughs> I'm smoothing right. the foundation just across her, across her eyes and under her eyes. And your unusual makeup artist is in that you put foundation on the lips. Yes, because I find, find that it holds the lip colour. Yeah. It's just like a primer. Is that really. only if you're on telly? No. No. There you go. There's a fabulous tip for you girls. Yeah, so you don't need to buy all these lip primers. You just, just put some put foundation, foundation on, on it. Lips. This is where we spend hours covering the holes. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff yeah. is light reflecting, isn't it? No, this one isn't. Oh. For older skins. Mm. You don't use light reflecting. No, no. So not all of these. So are, what's not the all of these pens are light reflecting? Not these are right. matte. This is an under eye brightener, which is really nice. Not just for under eyes actually, but that can go on. But you can see how that's Ooh. light reflective. Look. Well, but now that, you're confusing me. But, now you're but saying that, you, light But I'm not putting that under your eyes. I, you could put that on my bag. No, that's just, like your just on the highlight bag. of your cheek. That's where my bag is. <laughs> Right, so powder. I'm using a really, really sheer powder, and it's a brightening powder. Oh, okay. Because a big problem with as you're getting older, you don't want to powder are we too say much. Older yeah. How can we find a nicer way of saying it? I've got We need a few different terms. <laughs> when you're in your uh, yeah, no, it's a maturing as a woman. Maturing That's woman. worse. Everyone looks a bit healthier when they're bronzed up, don't they? Yeah. yeah. So we can't. I do not know how to use bronzer, so teach me. Okay, so big brush with bronzer, not a small brush. Yeah. And then it's literally just, you know, big circular movements. You're kind of keeping it to your cheekbones, but can you feel I'm just sort of yeah. fluffing it over really? And I always take it a little bit under your chin, a little bit on your nose. I'm just using a, a powder brow, brow um, product. Come Some come as like that cream yeah. and these ones are just powder so they are oh. like an eyeshadow. So you do um, not need to buy a new Not really. What you do need is a nice eyebrow brush so that it goes on in the place you're putting it on. And that's an angled one. Angled brush. So I'm just filling in the gaps and I'm brushing it up softly into your hair. Okay. Okay that's so nice. that's not too harsh it's just, mm -hmm. just enough. I'd like, like before it. Before and after. Before and after. Even though we want it plum, I'm going to go with a shade lighter first, like a pinky oh. colour. I'm going to use two colours, and this is the paler one that's going to go over your whole eyelid. Well, now you see, I would never put on a colour like that because I just wouldn't. It's just. Would you? You wouldn't. <laughs> it's almost red. Yeah. Do, you, do you ever wear. Do you put eyeshadow on? You wear a liner sometimes, don't you, on your own? Yeah, I'm not very good with eyeshadow. I'm not brave. Okay, so all I'm doing is just going along the socket line. So are you putting the same colour on now the, that you've got on my lid? The same dark colour. I'm just getting narrower as I'm getting closer into the eye. Yeah. And you don't take it right up to there, do you? No, I don't. Just because I think it closes the eye up a bit too much. And you're showing them my eyes. <laughs> now, this I just like to give you my own personal tip here for the older eye. And this is very personal because you're the only one. We're doing old face oh, makeup here. You. <laughs> How about you? Um, you and Penny <laughs> Lancaster are the only ones that curl their lashes. The other ones don't, oh, don't want it done. Because I think, again, it lifts the eye. Stacey oh, Solomon, it, who's a yeah. young loose woman, she curls hers again. I have to say, I am quite envious of Stacey Solomon's eyelashes, yeah. her false eyelashes. I'm just cutting them down slightly just because they always come a bit too long and, and they're meant to be cut down. It's because the bend in it, people can't get the bend. Yeah, the bend is hard. Oh, now I love that. I love Blink. So good. We're going to recurl the lashes again because Stacey yeah. apparently says this is really good. This is Stacey Solomon. Just be careful you don't pull off. Well, that's what I said to her. So this good. could all go horribly yeah. wrong. So you just do it. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Wow. Yeah, nice. I like it, do you? Oh, I love those yeah. eyes, Donna. Love them. Love that colour. With a blush, which is like the, the peachy, the pinky, the flush yeah. look, yeah. I like to put it on the apples of the cheeks. Only. Okay. Pretty much, yeah. So, because that is the area that's meant to look kind of flushed and rosy, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just a young girl running around in the woods looking for my prince. <laughs> a little flushed, I feel. <laughs> um, so, there is an actual shadow under here anyway, so you're just following that line and you're, we're just making that shadow a little bit deeper, a little bit stronger. And as long as you're using a, a thickish brush, a heavy, you know, a fluffy brush, sorry, 
then you won't have any lines because that's what you don't want. You don't want lines. I think you can wear any colour lipstick at any age as long as the rest of the face is, you know, it's all balanced. matching, it's all balanced and stuff. But is there the rule that if you're wearing a brighter lipstick, you shouldn't have a stronger, stronger eye? eye? That is a youthful colour, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So that's almost what you want. Why can't we have our lips mm, stained? stained? Well, you probably can these days, I don't know.